Hey guys, and welcome to the shack. In this video, I will show you how to create a vacuum filtration setup for under $10. For this project, you will need a large syringe, a funnel, filter paper, appropriately sized vinyl tubing, a cotton ball, and a Q-tip. The first step is to perform the actual filtration. Connect your tubing to a funnel, making sure it is a tight fit. Connect the other end of the tubing to a smaller piece of tubing, and connect that tubing to a syringe. Do not simply connect the large tubing directly to the syringe, as the smaller length of tubing will be necessary when we dry our product. Before moving on, you need to make sure that all of the connections are airtight. Do this by securing some plastic wrap to the funnel and pulling on the syringe. If it does not contort, you will need to check for leaks and or use a larger syringe. Once everything is secure, place a cotton ball in the funnel and wet it so that it stays in place. On top of that, place a piece of filter paper and wet it as well. Sometimes the filter paper will break under vacuum conditions that we will be applying, so the cotton prevents any solids from being pulled into the syringe. You need to make sure that the filter paper forms a tight seal with the funnel and the cotton, or else you will not get a good vacuum. Next, pour your suspension to be filtered onto the filter paper and use the syringe to pull the liquid through. Each time you fill up the syringe, remove it from the tubing, empty it, and then reattach it. If you intend to wash your product, do so now. Do not wash it in the next step, or else the liquid will drain much more slowly. And here's a quick tip. To fill the syringe multiple times without having to empty it, invert it and then slowly push out the air. You can now continue pulling more liquid through the filter. After you have filtered, you should be left with either a wet goop or a semi-solid paste. Pull on the syringe several more times to remove all of the water from the tubing. Now remove the small length of tubing from the larger one and stuff in a piece of cotton from the cotton ball. Wet it and then reconnect the smaller tubing. Pull out the filter paper and wash the funnel to remove any adhering solution. Pull this liquid into the syringe, empty the syringe, and then reattach it. Now you'll want to scrape your wet product into the funnel. Be sure to keep the filter paper and let any remaining goop dry on its own, so that you don't lose any of your product. If your compound is insoluble in water, you can try to rinse as much as possible into the funnel. However, if you're dealing with a soluble compound, it is best to rinse sparingly, if at all. Also, try not to tear the filter paper like I did. Now simply pull on the syringe several times to suck the water out of the solids. The cotton is acting as filter paper and is allowing the water to pass through, but not the solid product. Drying our sample in a narrow tube like this is much more efficient than drying it on a piece of filter paper because less of the product is contacting the wet paper, or in this case, the cotton. Okay, so apparently the tubing I was using is way too narrow, and the flow of liquid is painfully slow. So I will transfer it to this larger tubing with a piece of cotton at the bottom, on top of a rubber stopper with a glass tube through it. I first remove the solids from the narrow tubing by inverting the funnel and placing it over a beaker. I then fill the syringe with air and use it to blow out the solids. I added some water to loosen the consistency of the solids and then transfer them to the new apparatus. This time when I pull on the syringe, you can see that the flow of liquid is much faster. Now continuously pull air into the syringe to draw the rest of the liquid out of the wet solid. Pressing down on the solids with a q-tip or glass rod helps to force out any remaining liquid. Once you feel that your sample is dry enough, Remove the cotton with some tweezers and use the syringe to blow out the solids into an appropriate container. Now when you try this, you should experiment with different widths of tubing. The tubing that I used allowed for a quick flow of liquid, but most of the solids stuck to the wet cotton and thus didn't dry properly. Had I used a narrower tube, it would have taken a bit longer, but I would have been left with a powder instead of a paste. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Rate and comment.